Hello and welcome to Xnorgate in Minecraft. Um, now, an Xnorgate is actually fairly similar to an Xorgate, except for the only difference is, is that the output is inverted. So I'm going to do um, pretty much, I think it's pretty close to the same thing here. Um, um, I might just do it a little bit more step by step. So that it's sort of. Um, Um, so it sort of gets a bit more, um, yeah, so it's like that, and then like that, and then we'll put the torches here. Now before this would have been the output, for, and this is the output for the XOR gate, um, but here it's not, it still just carries on to be part of the thing. Um, so then, well... Mm. I'll just put grass there actually. Um, so it's going to go up here. Um, put that, and then you can have these as the output here. Oh, output, output, output. One, two, three. Yeah. So, yeah, make sure we put this one in as usual. Um, so let's have a look. We should be getting true values for 0, 0, and 1, 1. So 0, 0, the value looks pretty true. 1, 1, looking true. 0, um, zero, uh, zero 1, it's false. 1, 0, false. One, 1, true. All good. All right, let's just discuss this a bit more then. So, as you can imagine, it's um, um, yeah, it's just it's just XOR plus an inversion. So, if we invert the signal here, so in, in theory, I suppose you could um, you could take a signal um, one way here. And then you could, you know, as I start, as you start to think about like rooting stuff, um, I wonder if this is actually going to do anything. Mm. Yeah, this is it's pretty it's pretty cool actually when you think about it because what you can actually do is you can just take two different signals. I know it's still kind of based on an org, but anyway, let's just go through it again. So, naught, naught. Okay, so everything's provided power. So this torch is off. Um, but even without this torch, this this, this line, these lines are still getting power. Um, and it just goes down the line. Obviously, because these two lines of power, this is off. So this is all off, which allows this torch to remain on. It's so funny, though, isn't it? You just think that like that is just is just automatically on. Um, so that's on. And if we just look why, uh, as you can see, there's the result of the XOR is on. Um, and it's interesting, I didn't really explain the XOR video, because this one's on, this line is off, which allows this torch to be on. Because this one's off, this line is on, which allows this torch to be off. Yeah. And I would obviously say the, same, the opposite thing. And the, the interesting state is definitely for 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one is a more interesting state. Um, because both of the because both of the lines are powered by the single torch here, and um, so there's a thing used to be for that. Duh. All right. Um, yeah. So what was I going to say? Um, 
So yeah, so when it's 1-1, one, one, these lines are powered, these torches are off, this is all off. And yeah. You gotta look at the torches in as in a, a different way. Cause sometimes when you read the tables, depending on if you're looking at like uh different types of logic, they sometimes start with the trues or they start with the falses. And and we with, with with redstone torches you have to think it's starting with true. And of course I haven't even got into all the other stuff yet. But anyway, so I'm gonna be um hmm. Dunno, there's you know there's gonna be a lot with this stuff. I've I've looked at it, but until then, thanks for watching.